Okay, so we've got an email here. It's from Angelica. Okay, so just first reaction, mm -hmm. plus three one is the, the international code for the Netherlands. Yep. So first sign, good. Jerome has a Dutch name. He also has a Dutch number. Yep. We've got also one of the poems that he sent to her. Do you think we should type in the yes. poem? That's exactly what I think uh, we should Yeah, do. That, let's do it now. So we've got the top line in the poem. <laughs> you... It's Fitzgerald! It's F. Scott Fitzgerald! No! Yes! Oh. If the words are not coming from his mind, then I'm so sorry, nothing is genuine. There's still a lot for us to uncover. Yeah. This guy knows everything about Angelica's life. He knows about her kids. He's been speaking to her for three and a half years. He, for some reason, felt like he needed her address. All of his behavior does feel like he's trying to get as much information as possible. You're primed in a position to take advantage of her if you wanted to. This could definitely be a scam. Let's have a look into mm -hmm. just like romance fraud in the Netherlands. OK. Here we go. Look. What's this? Criminals invest months, sometimes years, making contact with their victims. They present themselves as the ideal man or woman. They send nice messages every day and sometimes even flowers. After a while, they need money temporarily. This is pretty bang on. Does that not sound like Jerome? What I think we should do is call Angelica yeah. and ask her whether he's ever asked her for money. 100%. And that will obviously dictate what we look into next. Exactly. Angelica, here we go. Hi, guys. Hey, Angelica. Hey. How's it going? Yeah, good, thanks. I just wanted to ask one or two questions um, just to help us with our investigation. Um, has Jerome ever asked you for money? Never spoken about. Okay. I think that's it. I think that's all that we, we just wanted to double check. We'll be in touch with you soon. Bye. Take care. Bye bye. Thanks, Angelica. Okay. So, I don't feel like she's being scammed. Yeah. Should we carry on? Yeah, let's do it. I feel like we should check out his social media. I mean, why not? Yeah. That's him. Yes. Okay. 15 posts. That looks like Holland. That, Look at really, the yeah. that is Holland. Look at the houses. Yeah, and he's also so geotagged the locations yeah, of where he is. On the posts that are there, there is a ton of different accounts who are commenting on it. Look at how many women leave... Heart emojis. Heart love-struck emojis underneath his pictures. Do you think this guy's a womanizer? Look at all the girls underneath his comments. You if you are this dude mm -hmm. and you are legit, yeah. why are you making a video call where you're in silhouette? You must have some sort of feelings for somebody that you've been speaking to for three and a half years, but why hide so much? Because he's clearly a confident person. He posts loads of pictures out here living his best life. What has this guy got to hide? Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's have a look, little look at his bio. He's got a website in his bio called .com. Should we have a look? Right. Click on that. And there's some information here. We've got a VAT number. For you to have a VAT number, that means your business is legit. There, there must be like a Dutch equivalent where you can look up registered companies in that in Holland. Oh, 100%. percent going to copy and paste their this VAT. Is... Oh. There. We've got an address. We've got an address. Hilversum. Hilversum is just outside of Amsterdam. So this guy, if he was in Amsterdam, he was like, whatever, half an hour away. And he can't be bothered to go and see her. Let's try and figure out if Jerome has any other socials, and that will help us verify whether this is actually him. Yeah. No. OK. Who's Top. this? That's him. That's him. That's the guy. He's got a lot of friends. Um, 